What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be doing a trick that is going to make resilience one of the best survivor perks in the game. Now I know I know it's been a long long time since I've done an intro. The intros from now on have been somewhat absent and the reason for that is because a lot of the content is now live on Twitch so whenever that happens if it's not going to be a build video there's not going to be an intro so just want to let you guys know that going forward. But yeah today is a build video so we are going to be doing an intro and the way this build is going to work is we're going to be using botany knowledge which is going to allow us to heal 50% faster and increase our healing item efficiency by 20%. Going to be using Dead Hard just because it is one of the stronger exhaustion perks in the game still. And also we have Resilience, which is the main part of this build. And then finally, we're going to be using Self Care, which in my opinion is one of the worst survivor perks in the game. But in this build, it actually becomes one of the better survivor perks in the game. So Resilience gives us a permanent 9% increase to pretty much all actions. And we're also going to be bringing Emergency Med Kit as well so we can heal up fast. And then what we're going to do, we're going to use Self Care so that it can finish off our heal just before we take Chase. And then we're no longer a one hit down. So basically, the way the build is going to work is that we'll have a permanent 9% increase increase to pretty much all actions and we won't pay the price of being a one shot down because before we get into a chase we can finish ourselves off with self care so yeah that's the build that we're going to be using today these games were from the, my twitch a couple of weeks ago and if you haven't already and would like to follow my twitch the link will be down below in the description and also in the pinned comments and yeah with that said i hope that you all really enjoy the video and i'll be right back with the games what do we want to do to start off with how do we want to play how do we want to start the game with this build i mean i guess we can take chase that works especially with the boon totem down here okay we are taking chase as soon as we get injured, we could maybe heal up mid-chase. We are in boom radius, so maybe. It is doable. Fake the double bat there. I was getting ready to give her that pallet there, but she did move away. Gonna get the down on him there. Yeah, he can crawl in the pallet. All right, we're gonna move away. We're just gonna move away here. Someone else can maybe go in for the pickup. Gonna swing as well. We'll lurk nearby so that she can't pick up. And if she does pick up, we're there for the pallet save. Alright, I guess we can start the heal. Victor's on us now. Someone needs to go in for the slug. Oh my god, that is unlucky. That's the old dead hard coming back to haunt us once again. Alright, we want to give him a kick. Okay, the uh, the knee is up, so that's really good value for us. Let's see if she chases it. If she chases the knee, we'll go in for the 99 heal. And then we can start using the build, which is going to be 99 resilience. So that, that's what it's going to be. It's like, it's 99 in resilience, but I guess we could also heal up mid-chase as well. So it's kind of like a two-in-one. But yeah, there we go. Now we get a permanent 9% increase to all healing and gens and everything. So it's really good. And we don't even pay... Well, we technically pay the price for being a one-shot down, but we technically don't because we're able to heal ourselves up within a, like a half a second. Or maybe even less than half a second. He can fly over that, so we need to be careful. I think if we crouch, we're safe, though. Why was that a slow one? No, no, oh my god, we got away with it. Yes, there we go, there we go. That's been happening a lot when you try and get a, like a fast vault on a pallet, they slow vault. All right, she's going to think we're a one, a one shot down here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to finish ourselves off with self care. And suddenly we're healed up and she's going to be really confused by that. So now we're going to move away. I guess twins is actually not terrible to go against because if she sends Victor thinking you're one shot down, then you can just heal up and then you can hold Victor hostage as well if you want. Be inclined to make a tutorial on how to loop or at least give your insight. Um, Probably not, at least not on the main channel. I've tried doing videos similar to that and they just, no one really watched them. So I, I think my audience don't really want to. I mean, I have been asked for it a few, by a few people, but I think for the most part, uh, people don't want to see that. But yeah, the last kind of like tips video I did was one of the worst performing videos on my channel. So that's when I decided, because at the time I wasn't sure if I was going to do the occasional tips video. But that's when I decided, okay, I'm, I'm going to stay away from, like, tips videos. Yeah, Mew's doing the tips, yeah. Subscribe to Mew for the tips. <laughs> I train Mew as well. Mew, Mew's my, my Jedi Padawan learner, so... You know, anything I learn, I, I taught her. She's not got one hook yet, either. I've just noticed that now. Not one hook. All right, we're going to body block here. If she... Uh, okay, she's not committing. The Nia's holding Victor hostage. Always a pretty good idea against Victor, I feel like. Basically, it takes one person out of the game, but it makes her have no power. Good mind game there, though. Why did she wait so long to M1? That was weird. She was waiting for that healthy dead hard. Gonna vault this. And now we're back in chase, finally. So we do need to get injured at some point in order to use the build. She's confused there. Went around the other the L wall. Double back again faking the double back but she mind gamed herself we can just walk behind her there now we can vault this 
that's the price you pay when you hide the red glow. <laughs> like, th that occasionally happens, and it's just... It is what it is. I want to take the window from this side. A bit of unique path in there. Always confuses the killers. Sometimes confuses the killers, anyway. Not always. Not going to vault it. She's mind gaming way too much. Look at this. She's mind gaming herself. <laughs> This is what you call, like, over mind gaming, I think. But she is a mind gamer. Gonna swing there. Now we make the window. Should be a gen popping soon. Maybe even two. Do the same move we did earlier. She was ready for it that time. Well played. Not taking it. Did swing early. I had a feeling she was gonna do that. That's why I went for that play. Now we'll move away. We've had our money's worth out of that TL wall. Didn't even get injured either, which is really good. Gonna leave us as well. There's one gem pop. Getting rid of the boon. Might be back on us. Not sure. This pallet was used earlier. Okay, now she is leaving us. All right, we'll go work on a gem. Hag definitely harder to... Yeah, I, I agree with that. Hag is way harder to learn than Myers. Myers is one of the easier... Oh, well, I don't know. He's... I wouldn't say he's easy. I don't think any of the killers are really... Well, you know, we, we can debate nurse is easy, but... <laughs> I don't want to get into that right now. But, um... But yeah, with Myers, the only thing you've really got to learn is when to pop tier 3. And uh, you've got to learn as well when you're tier 3. When you've, when you've like, can't get tier 3 again and it's your last one. You've got to learn when that's coming and when to make the most of it. She's taking window, we take pallet. Good teamwork there. Now we get away. She was down there as well if we didn't body block. But I was uh, discussing Myers <laughs> at the time, so I couldn't really commentate on that at the time. Alright, we'll go over here and heal up. Or 99 ourselves, not fully heal. Okay, there he is. We need to heal. There we go, fully healed. And there we go, guys. If we didn't have if we didn't have the 99 build thing there, we're completely dead. But because we have it, we get the extra health state instantly whenever we need it. And then they only get the injure instead of the down. So this is a really good build to use. You, you've got to be careful though. If you don't, if you miss time it slightly, you're just a one shot down, and you're not ready for a chase or anything. So <laughs> we are in boom radius here though. Maybe time to heal up. We're going to need a little bit more time, though. We're going to need something to slow her down. Like another pallet or something like that. Yeah, we might be dead here. We do have dead hard, though. Double back. We'll start the heal. Miss the skill check. We'll take it this time. We'll start the heal again. There she is. Going to need dead hard. Fate window, then dead hard. Nice, there we go. That's another good way to use dead hard as well, by the way, guys. Go into the window and then dead hard. I've said before how, like, you can use it through pallets. Windows is another way to use it. Go into the window and dead hard. Okay, she's back on us. Gonna drop that down now. Alright, everyone's up. We'll try the heal. As soon as we get a chance. Okay, she's chasing those guys. We've got time to heal. She's gonna know we're there, isn't she? Sending Victor. We got time. Nice, there we go. Didn't know he was there. Gates opened as well. She should be able to crawl from there. Victor's dead. We can just stand in behind. Should be fine. Heal tech here. Because we're in boom radius, we actually get her up as well. Did do a backflip though. Let's get her up again. Oh, uh, what happened? No, what happened? <laughs> okay, we're not going to leave her. We're not going to leave her. No, we have to. We have to. We can't get over there and heal. Please, no Blood Warden. We have to leave her. I don't know what happened now with that skill check. <laughs> Let's just leave her. We got three out. That's still good. GG's, GG's. Going to be a ghost face here. With the classic Scream outfit as well. We're getting a lot of new uh, ghost face cosmetics very soon as well, by the way, guys. Would be good to just take a three on one. Well, I mean, I don't know if it would be good, but it would be worth it. The ideal kind of way to do it would be to take an M1 in chase and then have him leave us. So I guess we'll just do that. We won't give him a free M1 for nothing. He's probably going to come over here now anyway, push us off the gen. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, looks like he's going to chase us. All right, so like I said earlier, the ideal play is to not get revealed. That, that's the ideal play. Oh my God, of course. Of course we get revealed. <laughs> but the ideal play is to take an M1 and then have, us, have him leave us. He is obviously going to commit to this. Good news is we do have some... Um, like a fairly strong loop here. Do we have the pallet on this side? We do have the pallet on this side. We're going to give him that. We're just going to play it safe. Now we're going to move on to the other pallet. Do we have the pallet there? We do. We do have the pallet here as well. Need to give him it, obviously. 
another god pallet down but if we can outlast this it's definitely going to be worth it does have another god pallet over here i kind of want to move on to the car though now we'll play god pallet we'll play god pallet it's not really a god pallet because it is mind gameable so it, it isn't like a full-on god like see how it's how he's mind gaming that there it's definitely mind gameable it's a strong pallet but it's not quite a god pallet as you can see by uh by us getting mind game there <laughs> In hindsight, maybe we should have moved the way down there. It's not as good as I thought it was when it's down. It's really not, is it? I think that's the first time I've ever played that pilot with it being down. Everyone else is on death hook, though, so everyone else needs to be careful. We can play a little bit more risky here, not being on death hook. We're going dead hard. That as well. Never mind. We're already exhausted. What am I about? Wait, does he have Mindbreaker? Yeah, he does. Oh, whatever they changed the name to. I forget what it's called now. Did do a little swing there. We can maybe make it back around. Yeah, we can. But yeah, pallets become a lot become a lot weaker once they're uh, like slammed down. Like this now is very mind gameable. Whereas when the pallets up, because the killer has to worry about being stunned and stuff, has a lot more to worry about. Going to swing there. This time we're going to vault it. Perfect, nice. Now we get away. Out mind gamed him there a little bit. Let's get away from there. All right, let's heal up with the boon. We'll see. Any in fact, we can't, can we? Because she's death hook. All right, we're just going to have a little chase. Um, allow our teammates to escape. And then after that, GG's, I guess. We might have a little chance of getting out, but probably not. Yeah, he's mind gaming now. We're going to dead hard that. We actually got away with it as well. We kind of got lucky there. He didn't hit us till late. So that was very close to being a down. No idea where the gates are. Wasn't really looking. We could try and move over to one. But again, kind of hard when we don't know where they are. One of them's been opened. Is it this one? It is this one. We got really lucky there. They can come in for a body block, and then we should be out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're out regardless, I think. I think we were making that regardless. Yeah, there we go. We're all out then. GG's, GG's.